All right, guys, so I wanted to do the video on the Ace PC AK2. Uh, here is the model number and setup that I got. So I went with the 6 gig, 64 bit, 2.5, 5 gig for Wi Fi, and the computer speed is 1.5 with a 2.3 gig boost. All right, so, so here we go. That's the front of it, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go through the setup and I'll show you um, what it looks like and how it's. All right, so I also bought a 15 foot cable matters 3.0 for the Pico and a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I'll show you that goes in the back of uh, the computer. So uh, the reason why I went with these is because uh, they're very cheap and inexpensive. This is a Western Digital Black 500 gig. It costs, I think, $24. So once these are full, like let's say I put, you know, all my scope captures are full, I can take it out and I can file this away. You know, I can get a box and just keep stacking them, you know, and uh, they're very easy to put in the back of the computer. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. So we're gonna have to do this one-handed, but. So this is the Ace PC. Comes in a nice anti-static bag. Very, very light. Uh, here's the components that go with it. Here are the top core and all that stuff. All right, put it down for one more second. All right, so it comes with the power cord and the bracket. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, on the back of this monitor, um, we got VGA and HDMI, so we'll just use the HDMI for now. So what I was doing is I was using my uh, Surface Pro, but it was tough to to keep going back and forth with it. And I'll still use the Surface Pro, however, for test drive. So I'm probably gonna leave this here, even though the mini PC supports two monitors. Uh, I might put the PC in the cabinet, I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna set it up for now and uh, see what happens. So let me grab, uh, let me get it set up. Right, so here's the Ace PC. So here's your connections. You got two HDMI outs, which it does support. Uh, USB 2.0 in the back. Uh, you have your lock if you want to lock it. Your power. This pops the um, cover off for the second hard drive. You got two USB 3.0s, and you can fit a mini SD card up to 128 gigs. And another 2.0. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this. And uh, all right. So what this does, that lever right there, pops this cover up, and this is where the second hard drive goes. So you can put an SSD card in, um, I mean, I'm sorry, a SATA, or you can put a solid state drive in here. This connection is the same for both, all right? Just, this is a, not an M2 one, but it is a solid state. Uh, and then inside, uh, if you unscrew the bottom and uh, unscrew this and get into it, you can put an M2 um, solid state drive in there as well, up to 128 gigabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hard right, drive. So it comes with uh, mountain screws. So I put four, two on each side. All right, let me just slide this back in. Right here. Okay, and then you put the three mountain screws in here, here, and here. Okay, now that that's in, we're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. So this just goes like this. Just goes like that, and pushes down, locks in. So now it's in, so even if you shake it around, there's, it's a mechanical drive, but it's uh, it's pretty stable, it's sitting in its nest. So I'm gonna go grab a uh, 128 gigabyte for there as well. All right, so I have the uh, 128 Evo. I'm gonna stick this in the side over here. It's always going so upside down for some reason. Oh, okay, so it locks in, there you go. All right, so it's locked in there. All right, so let's uh, get it plugged in and... Uh... All right, so right now I only have the power hooked up, two hard drives in HDMI. All right, so we're gonna hit the power button right here. I think it's gonna take some time to set up. You gotta hold it, there you go. The light turns on. It's blinking. So what I'm gonna do guys too, is I'm gonna show you how the Pico works on it as well. 
Uh, once I get this booted up and loaded, because it's got to load windows and go through all the setup, all that stuff. Once I get that set up, I'll come back and I'll show you how uh, the PicoScope works on it and how good this actually is. Uh, but this is a phenomenal machine for basically no money. All right, so uh, right now I have a 500 gigabyte um, SATA drive in it, a 128, I know, 64 gigabyte uh, M2 in it, and I just put a the 128 gigabyte in the side. So I got plenty of storage on this little thing. Um, and I can even use the little micro SD cards uh, to hold my Pico data as well. I'm not sure which, that's probably the way I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna put them on here, uh, easy to file away. So, all right, I'll be back. And uh, one other thing too, like I said, I wanna test the quality and signal of this for the Pico. And if this cord works well, then uh, I'll be in business. This would be nice to be able to use this 15 feet away. All right guys, so it took about 10 minutes to set this up super fast. All right, so I just wanna go into my computer for a second. I just wanna show you and see if my hard drives are there. So they are there. So I have my recovery. So my Windows right here, that's my operating system, my recovery and ISO. And then I got um, my 500 gigabyte hard drive. That's in there, so it looks like they put um, backup on it and stuff so that's cool they set it up for me automatically so so and here's my uh, micro SD card right here uh, 100 and, there you go so new folder Doesn't like what I'm doing on the keyboard here. All right, so I got my Pico scope and actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna move. I think I'm gonna shut it down first. Move this to the cabinet where I want it. Um, because I think I want. I think I want to put it inside here. Uh, actually, I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe I'll leave it out. I'm going to leave it out, I think, for now. Just get so dusty in here. Um, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. So, but, anyways. I'm not sure what that is, but. So, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into PicoScope and download the latest software. Let's see. This thing's super fast, guys, too. Super fast. All right, let's see. Four series. There's a little fan in here. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it, though. I'm just going to go into here for a second. I just want to check. Uh, users. Downloads. Yep. Okay. So that's there. So let me go into this other hard drive. I bet you nothing's in there. Users. Yeah, there's not nothing. Yeah, see, there's nothing in there. Okay, so that's good. You can skip ahead, I'm just doing this in real time. Just so you can see how fast this actually sets up the program. And I'm on a Wi-Fi extender here, so. I'm not even plugged into my main router. This is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as well. All right, so we're gonna restart the computer, so I guess you'll see how fast it restarts as well. 
Okay, so it's gonna update. So you guys might have to uh, skip past this part. So anyways, I uh, I got this blue color because I wanted to keep it the same as the PicoScope. Uh, I'm assuming it's from China and I'm assuming that the PicoScope one's from China too. So I heard the longer this is, see it's already restarting. The longer this is, the worse of a signal you get. We'll see about that. It's nice to actually get an actual computer out in the shop like this. See, that was fast, and it, and it did updates as well. Look at that. Really fast. Man. This thing is like short money. Super fast. All right, so there it is. Here's the automotive software set up. Beautiful. Man, I'm happy. Got it set up on a 22-inch uh, monitor, and I put it, uh, sits right, right down there. I can access the SD card and the ports and anything else I need to access. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'll, uh, I'll definitely show you, um, I'll hook the scope up and uh, show you that as well. All right, guys, so I have the uh, Pico set up and the uh, signal generator. Now, this is an aftermarket uh, 3.0 lead cable that I hooked up. <clears throat> it's hooked up to my Pico. Uh, right there, and then the uh, the original one is right here. So, all right. So I'm going to use a signal generator. Um, that obviously works. Um, let me go over to this one right here. Tough to do it one hand. Sorry. So let's go to that one, and that changed as well. And just so you can see, we can get rid of the trigger, and you'll see it rolling on the screen. I didn't hook it up to a real car, uh, but you know, this is, it's the same signal. So, uh, let's see if we can get a way spark system. I mean, a uh, uh, coil secondary. Yep. There's our secondary. Uh, let's see if I can go over here. Let's see if we can get a sine wave and there we go. There's our sine wave. <clears throat> so that's it guys. I just wanted to show you the main purpose of using the signal generator is I just wanted to show you the computer uh, Show you that this 3.0 cable does work and this computer is phenomenal. So uh, I've had no problems with it I'm actually using it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video on a Wi-Fi extender through a cat 5 cable so uh, internet's really fast so I can go ahead and uh, minimize Pico and I can go into here and you can see, you know, I can go into pro demand. Um, let's say uh, window switch, I gotta check that out. So, all right, hit search, there we go. And it's pretty quick. Uh, connector, okay. Remove and replace. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fast. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to estimate guide. Let's go to home, fluid capacities. So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's pretty fast. Uh, you can use a computer for browsing. Uh, this is not a gaming computer, so um, don't think that it is. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a computer. So, uh, think of this as the same thing as a, I don't know, a, uh, laptop, uh, Surface Pro 3, uh, same specs. So I'm going to show you the specs. I don't know if I showed you this, but, uh, during the beginning of the video, I also formatted this hard drive. So this is the hard drive that I bought renewed from Amazon. So the, there might be shit on yours if, uh, you get it. So, um. So there we go. So then I'll go to here. I'll go to properties just so you can see. Um, there's the specs. So one thing I did have to do on this, um, 
on this computer and it was actually my monitor. So when I plugged in my Pico scope, it was flashing, the monitor was flashing. Uh, so what I did was I had to go into my uh, um, my control panel. Okay, properties, device manager, that's where I went. I was already halfway there. So, and what I did was I came over to my display adapter, right clicked on it, and then clicked update driver. Uh, once that happened, it fixed it. So no more issues. So uh, it was a display uh, driver issue, not a computer issue. Uh, but it was making my screen turn on and off. The computer would stay on, but uh, my screen would go on and off, which is all fixed now, as you saw. So, uh, yeah, my recommendations. Right now, this sucker's on sale for 186 uh, for the one that I got, the 6 gig and the 64 gig. Um, 6 gig of RAM and 64 gig hard drive. Uh, you can add the SATA drive to it. So, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I wanted to get this video out there so you guys knew it was out there. Uh, I was tired of using my laptop and it's nice to have a 22 uh, inch screen. So I had a bunch of these laying around these screens. So, uh, works for me. So thanks guys. Have a good night.